down in your skin, you know, but it frustrates you. Anyway, let's go to the Lord in prayer right quick. Maybe I won't say nothing out the way again. Uh, dear Lord Jesus, Heavenly Father, thank you again for this day. Lord, just thank you for your grace and your mercy. Lord Jesus, thank you for going to the cross and dying for our sins. Lord Jesus, shedding your blood so, so we can go to heaven. Lord Jesus, everybody got a chance to go to heaven now because of your shed, your shed blood. Lord, you, you've done what it takes for them to get there, Lord. And just thank you for it, Lord. And just bless this service tonight, Lord. Let's bless everybody that's not here, Lord Jesus. Lord, and just uh, take care of us, Lord. Just let everything work out in your favor. Uh, Lord, just take care of this country, Lord Jesus. They, we need some help, Lord Jesus. Would you bring the, get the right president in here, Lord Jesus. Lord, they, we're trying to live for you, and we're trying to vote according to your will, Lord Jesus. Just help us out. Let, us, let, real be, let your will be done. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> hey, um, anyway, I don't quite know how this is going to go tonight. Anyway, uh, <clears throat> I, it's like, <clears throat> I've, been, I've been frustrated. I, get, I probably get frustrated right where I go. And in Galatians, but in Galatians 2, in Galatians 2, um, <clears throat> it's, gonna, it's mentioned that a little bit about being about frustrated. We ain't going to stay on that idea too long, but we're gonna, we'll read it. Uh, Galatians 2, <clears throat> 21, we'll just read that. We'll just read that because that ain't really what our message is about. We'll just start it anyway. It, verse 15 says, uh, we know, uh, we who are Jews by nature are and not sinners of the Gentiles, and not sinners of the Gentiles, knowing that a man is not justified by works of the law, but by the faith of Jesus Christ. Even we uh, have believed in Jesus Christ that we might be justified by the faith of Christ and not by the works of the law. For by the works of the law shall no flesh be justified. Uh, but if while we seek to be justified by Christ, our, we ourselves also are found sinners uh, in therefore Christ is therefore Christ the minister of sin God forbid Christ the minister of sin that's something to think about hey ain't no way Christ could be the minister, minister of sin for if I build again the things which I destroy I make myself a transgressor um, for I through the law am dead to the law that I might live unto God I am crucified with Christ nevertheless I live yet not I but Christ live within me and the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. He said in verse 21, says, I do not frustrate the grace of God, for if righteousness came by the law, then Christ is dead in vain. Hey, if righteousness came by the law, Christ is dead in vain. You know, I had a, I looked in the dictionary to try to find out what the meaning of frustrated word was, and I could never get a good sound idea of what it was. But uh, let's look in uh, Ezra, <coughs> in Ezra chapter 4. Ezra chapter 4 kind of give us a little better idea. <clears throat> As they're trying to build that wall there, and um, somebody was annoying them. They were frustrating. In Ezra chapter 4, verse 5, and hired counsels against them to frustrate the purpose all the days of Cyrus, king of Persia, until uh, even until the king of, of Darius, king of Persia. Hey, he said he, they hired some counselors, some folks to frustrate him. I got, from, that, from that idea, I just got the idea, hey, they couldn't stop the work. They couldn't stop the work, but they could frustrate it. Right. They could get in there and annoy them, annoy them, hey, and, hey, and just aggravating the death until they uh, to, and try to get them to quit. And that's, all, that's all that frustrating is. Hey, you, they can't really intervene and stop the movement of it, but they can get in there and try to try to hinder it, try to get in the way, hey, try to win, render some kind of evil in it, but they can't, there's nothing they can do. And that, and that, that frustrated, hey, that's basically what it is. It's, hey, you just try, they just something getting in there trying to uh, annoy you, just nag at you the whole time. If I knew I couldn't say annoy, well, I probably wouldn't have used that word right there. Hey, <clears throat> um, Hey, that's what fr frustrated is. It's, a, it's annoying. They, could, <clears throat> they couldn't change the out outcome of that frustrating is a, uh, uh, Paul, hey, Paul had preached to the people. Um, they had, they had, uh, uh, some, he had preached to them. Some people, some, they got saved, and then they had another bunch, uh, uh, some false, pro false believers. They came in and trying to uh, 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 turn them away from what Paul was teaching them. Hey, hey, and, and Paul said, Paul, and, and they, some false brother, that's what a false brother, they want the truth thing, those false brother. Hey, and that's what we got, and we got other denominations that'll come here and tell us that this ain't right. 
hey, that you got to do this for salvation, you got to do that for salvation. Hey, in the context of frustrating the grace of God, is trying to justify God with, uh, with, with the law, trying to say that God, that the law is right. Try to say that God has got to abide by the law, and we know that, that ain't right. Hey, be justified, want to be justified by works. <clears throat> Uh, not to con hey, hey that, and basically they're saying that the um, saying that uh, the, that our salvation is not complete unless we do it that way, but we know our salvation is complete in Jesus Christ. Our salvation is complete because we accepted the shed blood of Jesus Christ. We accepted Him for our sins. Hey, we're depending on Him to get us into heaven because of His shed blood. <clears throat> Paul Paul is saying <clears throat> Paul said Paul said uh, it, I do not frustrate the gospel. Of the gospel of the uh, frustrate the grace of God. He said, I, "I don't, I don't frustrate." He said, "I don't, I don't make it void. I don't hinder. I don't, I don't annoy it." Hey, when he said, "I do not," that's my, that's a kind of strong statement to me. I looked at it. It says, "Not like saying I don't, I don't." It's just putting something together. But he's 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 spelling out two words right there. I do not frustrate it. It's not like he's making that thing strong. He's making it it's, it's, it's positive. He's making it. Um, he said, "I do not frustrate the, the gospel, the grace of God." Um, we know that we know that we are saved by grace. Um, we know that uh, we we may not we may not frustrate the grace of God by our righteousness. We don't frustrate it by our righteousness. If you see what I'm trying to say, but but we f may frustrate the grace of God by our walk. See what I'm saying? Our walk might might annoy annoy. Y'all hit me out with this thing. And know that grace, you know what I mean? It, it, might, it, 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 it frustrates that grace. It, 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 uh, it kind of hinders that, that grace in a sense. Hey, because that's, so people, you got to understand, people got an idea in, uh, of what Christians are supposed to be like. They got an idea of it. Um, you, you would think that being saved by, grace, by the grace of God, you, that you wouldn't have any problems. I remember when I first got saved, hey, I thought, I didn't think I would have any. I know, you remember the pastor preaching, Preaching other night, said something, about, and I remember when I first got saved. I said I just thought that I wouldn't have any problems, but you know, but bills still came, uh, headaches still came, hardship still came. I mean, I hadn't been saved long, about five months. Hey, but problems still came. We thought we think that because we saved by the grace of God, and that we don't have problems, we still have problems. Hey, but we, but the thing about it, we still saved. Hey, Ephesians two five says, even when we were dead in sins, hath uh, quicken us together with Christ by grace are you saved. Hey, we saved by the grace of God. We saved by the grace of God. Ephesians 2 8 says, for by grace are you saved through faith and not of yourselves. It is the gift of God. Hey, it ain't of us. It's a gift from God. Hey, uh, you know what? You ever think, you ever think about a gift? A gift is something that's, if I give you a gift, it's something that's given and I don't take it back for any reason. That's why we can't lose our salvation because it's a, it's because it's a gift. To, that's what God said. It was a gift. God said it. I, all all we're doing is reading what God said in the Bible. He says it's a gift. Hey, the grace of God is, <clears throat> uh, the grace of God is giving us what we do not deserve. Mason, if I give you a piece of candy, you've been mean to me. You didn't deserve it, did you? But I gave it to you anyway. The grace of God. Now, if 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 uh, if I that same piece of candy, if you stole it, and I didn't punish you for it, that would be mercy. That's what, that's what God gives us. Hey, we got grace and mercy through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Hey, one is giving us what we deserve, what we don't deserve, and one is not giving us, it's withholding from us what we do deserve. Thank you for the, thank you for the grace and mercy of God. That's what it does. Hey, we frustrate the grace of God by not acting according to uh, why he saved us. <clears throat> this, um, uh, we're going to kind of turn a little bit, we're going to get off that little grace God a little bit, because I just wanted to hit that, but but we're going to talk about that frustrate a little bit more. Um, and this, hey, I ain't just talking to y'all. Mainly this thing's probably for me probably more than anybody else because I'm, I'm just as wicked or probably, I, see, I think I'm more wicked than Brother, Brother Je Jeff, I ain't never seen him do nothing wrong. Huh? I mean, I, he may have. I just ain't never seen it. So I say, I know I do things wrong. I know I do things wrong. But, hey, that's why, that's why this, this thing's directed towards me. Hey, see, <clears throat> you know, it seems like when we, um, some of our actions, it seems like we slap that, 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 that grace in the face. But by our actions, it seems like we just, that, that grace that God put on us, it's like we just, just slap it in the face. That ain't, that ain't no good. Hey, 
<clears throat> I applied my grace to you. I applied my grace to you, and 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 and, and I don't know if I wrote what wrote, wrote, wrote down. What I supposed to write down here? Anyway, no, that's what it said. He said, I, "I applied my grace to you, and you act the way you act." You know what I mean? I, God said, "I've applied my grace to you, and you and you still do these things." Uh, he said, "Bible says, if you love me, you'll keep my commandment. Keep my commandments." Hey, Christians should be the most. Hey, we should be the most great, gr grateful people there is. Hey, and and not abuse that grace. And that's what we do often. We often abuse that, the grace of God. Um, we um, we are saved by it. Now now it seems <clears throat> seems that we um that uh. That we, we say by that grace, and some, but sometimes we see we end up doing just whatever we want to do, be, even though we're saved. Hey, the Bible says, shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? Hey, he said, God forbid. Hey, we should not continue in sin that grace may abound. It seems that um, we try to build, a, like Paul was talking about, hey, I'd be a transgressor if I try to build again was already destroyed. And it seems like we, that, that, that thing has been wiped out, hey, but we still dwell on these things. We still, we still continue with these things right here. It's been, it's been destroyed. Hey, the, uh, the Bible says in 1 Corinthians uh, 6, 20, says, ye, ye are not your own. Hey, the Bible says we are bought with a price. Therefore, glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. And that's, what, that's, what, that's the idea of us as Christians is to give God some glory through our actions, through our actions. What is the thing? <clears throat> I, think, I think we should be as firm and solid and determined uh, not to frustrate the grace of God uh, in the sense in our, in our daily walk, as Paul was trying to trying to get rid of that problem he had, the same the same fervency Paul had to go against all them folks that were uh, trying to turn them them new converts away, we should have that same fervency in trying to uh, do right by God. The same the same the, we should to uh, to do right by God. Hey, Paul had a, he had an attitude about that thing. Hey, we should have a we should have an attitude about trying to do right. Hey, we should get mad at ourselves if we don't please God. We should get mad at ourselves if we uh, say something out of, the, out of the way. We should get, get, get mad at ourselves if we uh, uh, and somehow uh, uh, put God down by our actions, by not acting like a Christian. I act like a Christian. Hey, <clears throat> how, how not to frustrate the grace of God? Hey, by not disturbing the reason God saved us. You know, in, um, we, um, we are real, <clears throat> real saved to good works. We'll say in, in, in um, Ephesians 2, 2.10, how not, to, how not to frustrate the grace of God, hey, by not disturbing the reason God saved us. He saved us, for we, for we are his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus unto good works, which God hath before ordained that we should walk in him. Hey, God created, created good works in us, and that's our, that's, that's what should be our mindset all the time is good works. Our mindset should be good works. In um, Ephesians 1, 6, being confident of this very thing that he which had begun a good work in, uh, in you will perform it until the day of Jesus Christ. Hey, God started something in us, and our idea is not, hey, even though we still mess up, but God's a perfect God, and he, don't, he wants us to be perfect. And now that when we started this thing, I, the idea is not to mess it up nowhere down the road. I, I know we're going to do it. Hey, but the thing about it, the beauty, the beauty of salvation is that if you do mess up, you can still go to God and get forgiveness for it. Hey, if the beauty of you, if you mess up, you can still go to God and say, Lord, forgive me. But you, the, the beauty of that thing is that you don't lose your salvation. That's the beauty of salvation. You don't lose it. Hey, it's eternal. It's eternal. Hey, God put something in you that's, that's eternal. He put his spirit in you. When he put his spirit in you, he put an eternal spirit in you. You can't lose it. Hey, but hey, but our work, our, our, our work, what everything should do should be to glorify God. In, in, um, in Titus 2, 2, 11, Titus 2, 11 says, as you know how we, ex Titus, I mean, Thessalonians, Titus 2, 11. Uh, For the grace of God uh, hath, that bringeth salvation hath appeared to all men, uh, teaching us that denying ungodliness and worldly lusts we uh, should live soberly, righteous, and godly in this present world. Hey, these are this is good works. Hey, we all you want to know what good works is? This is this is what good. This is how we should live. This is good works. Um, you know what? When, before we got saved, we couldn't. We had a hard time trying to do right. We had a hard time trying to trying to live. I had a hard time trying to live soberly, huh? 
had a hard time trying to live, had a hard time trying to live godly. Hey, looking for, looking for that blessed hope and the glorious appearing of the great God and our Savior, Jesus Christ, who gave himself for, for us that he uh, might redeem us from all iniquities. Hey, he redeemed from all iniquities and purify unto himself a peculiar people, people zealous of good works. Hey, that should be in our nature is good works. Hey, Bible said, because, because he said we are peculiar people. Everybody don't, ain't like this, don't have that good work ability in them. That's what makes us strange. That's why, hey, that's why people look at Hope Will like there's, there's a cult, because you're trying to do right. That's why they look at us like that, because you're trying, you're trying to do right. Everything, I, I believe they ain't trying to do right. If they were, they'd probably be down here worshiping with us. Huh? That's just the way I look at it. Hey, hey, if you're created to do good works and, you, and uh, you're created to give, then you're created to give glory to the one who created you. Hey, our idea, the idea is, part of, is to give glory to God. Hey. We, <clears throat> we may frustrate the grace of God uh, by misplaced glory. Or sometimes just not acknowledging God. And a lot of times we'll do that. Hey, sometimes just not acknowledging God. In, Corinthians, in Colossians 1.18 it says, And he is the head of the body of the church, who is the beginning, the firstborn from the dead, that in all things he might have a preeminence. Hey, God is superior in every situation. He's superior in every, in every situation. He's, he's worthy of, uh, of giving him glory. Hey, but sometimes we, we might, might misplace that glory. Hey, every now and then, somebody, they, they say to the other, Ted, you did pretty good that night. And I said, thank you. First thing that came to my mouth was thank you. What should have came out of my mouth was thank God. Huh? Give God the glory. And then you back, then you catch, it, catch, it, catch yourself, and you catch yourself, and you say, oh, thank you, Lord. You know what I mean? But, it should be, but he should have a preeminence. He should have, his, the mindset is that he get the glory for everything. Preeminence. He's worthy. In Psalms 29, 2 says, uh, Give unto the Lord the glory due unto his name. Worship the Lord in the beauty of his holiness. Hey, do we ought to give God the, his, his, his due glory. In the, in, the, um, in the process of withholding glory due to God, we may be uh, grieving the Holy Spirit. Um, may be grieving on, in the fe Ephesians uh, 4, 30 says, Grieve not the Holy Spirit of God. Whereby ye are sealed until the day of redemption. Hey, <clears throat> you know, sometimes I, I'm sitting back there on the in the pew and um and I'm thinking, and the Holy Spirit starts dealing with me. I think, man, I need to I need to say something about it. And I, I sometimes I, I'll do it, I ain't got a problem with it. But sometimes I guess the Satan will get in you or know, where you're living, or you maybe your weekend, week win or whatever, and you and you just can't manage to get yourself to stand up and say something for the glory of God. Sometimes you don't manage to be able to stand up. Hey, but hey, I shouldn't let that hinder me from getting up and, and saying something. Hey, it might it, it may even be a time when everybody's everybody's testifying. Well, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be just a just a copycat if I start testifying. You know what I mean? That kind of thing, that kind of thing. Hey, but we should hey, we should get that stuff out of our minds and still give God the glory. Hey, get on up there and testify when he's when he's when he when when, when the Holy Spirit deals with you. Hey, I, I'm certain I ain't the only one in here that the Holy Spirit deal with about that thing right there, huh? There's a lot of things that come to our mind that hinder us from giving God the glory. That's the, that's the point right there. There's a lot of things that need to come to our mind. Um, hey, get, get interested in what interests God. Eter eter eternal things are what interests God. In, in Matthew 6, um, 6, 20 says, But uh, lay up for yourselves treasures in heaven where neither moth nor rust nor cr uh, doeth corrupt, and where steeds do not break through and steal. Hey, hey, you know what? Eternal things, the, the moth and stuff can't get a hold of because it it's all spiritual. It ain't nothing physical. Hey, that good, them good works we're talking about, that's eternal things. Hey, uh, giving, your, giving your tithes, you, it might be a physical act, hey, but that's a spiritual thing. That thing that'll go to heaven with you. Hey, uh, the Bible says where your, where your heart is, your treasure, where your treasure is, your heart would be also. How that thing go? Hey, um, a lot of times, that's the only reason, that might be the only reason I'm thinking about the missionaries. I can give them some money. I hope they're going to do what they're supposed to be doing. Huh? Store up some treasures. We can say, hey, you store up treasures by giving to the missionaries. We can store up treasures that way. Hey, not having a, a selfish mindset about things. Um, any, hey, basically anything done for God, if, it's no, if there's no selfishness in it, it's a treasure. It's going to be stored up. Hey, um, um, you can, you can, you can, uh, you can say, I'm going to help somebody, but God sent me over there to help somebody. Well, you can say that all you want, but 
if, you, if your idea is to get something in return from that person, I don't think God was in that thing right there. You know what I mean? Somewhere I don't think God would have been in that right there. Um, how, not, how not to frustrate the grace of God. Hey, and this is something I, I, I deal with all the time. I ain't never like to read. I ain't never like to read. But when I, get to, when I do get to reading, I kind of like it. You know what I mean? When you do get to read, you find something that, 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 that's appealing to you. But, it's, but as far as wanting to, sit, wanting to sit down and read something, hey, uh, and, and the thing about it, it's probably things of God that uh, the Bible that you don't want to read. Because you a hunting magazine, um, I'll sit there and spend some time in it if I have to, you know what I mean? Hey, but it's, but it's the Bible that we got, we, got, we got to put some time in reading. We got to put some effort in reading. I need to improve on that thing. Hey, don't read enough. Um, you can, hey, you can read a lot of bu books that ain't, that ain't got the scriptures in it that, that, that's, that's to no avail. There's no profit in it. There's no profit in it. But there's always some kind of profit in this book right here. Hey, there's always something you can, hey, sometimes, hey, the, the Bible can soothe your soul when you don't think it's soothing your soul. I know. I remember when I first got saved. I remember reading my Bible right regular. And I can remember when I would stop reading it. Uh, there was an irritable something about me. I could feel myself being irritable about things, just, just because I stopped reading my Bible. Hey, you, that soul, that soul, that soul needs that right there. Your soul needs it. Um, that, you know, that God in you needs that right there. Um, you know what, God? You see, 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 reading the Bible, it makes you do things that God recognized. I don't think, basically, the only thing God recognized is his word. Hey, his word is everything. Hey, his word was made flesh. That's, 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 all, what, that's all he worked, He recognized, and everything, and everything stems around the word. Hey, the word was the son. The word was made flesh. Hey, the word is what we live by. The word is, what, is how he teaches us to do right. It's all about a word. Hey, and that's, the only, and that's basically the only thing he recognized is the word. So it's important that we read the word. It's important to read the word. And the Bible says to, um, to give attendance to reading. To give attendance to, hey, to stay in it. Stay in it. Um, how, how not to frustrate the grace of God. We're about to be finished in a little while, y'all. Um, how not to frustrate the grace of God. Hey, <clears throat> not just, not just, this is kind of, might be kind of a simple thing, but I think it's important. Not just feeding the poor. I know some, there's some uh, churches down in Laurenburg where we live at. Laurenburg, Lower Hill, same Scotland County. Hey, they, uh, they are big on feeding the poor. But then when I talk to somebody about doing it, hey, they never give you any gospel out. They never give a, hey, when Jesus, when, Je when, when Jesus wants to feed somebody, he's going to give some gospel out somewhere. Hey, when, we, when our missionaries go out to to uh, all them other countries over there, hey, they they'll help them to learn, teach them how to how to how to build a house, how to fix their gardens. But the main thing they going on for is to give them the gospel. That's the main thing they going is to give them the gospel. Hey, I don't see the, the I, what's the purpose of feeding somebody. Hey, it's all right to feed them if you're gonna give them the gospel, and that's the way it should be done. Feed them and preach to them. That's what it should be, and that's what our missionaries do. Hey, and we and we sponsor that. We furnish them. We provide them the means. The, finances to go and do that thing. So that's, hey, so we get some kind of reward out of it. It's, it seems like it's a win-win situation when you're a Christian. You know what I mean? Win-win. Hey, hey, so we should need to continue supporting our missionaries. Hey, that's an that's a eternal reward right there. Hey, the, the, the idea is to always glorify God. Hey, to, uh, to always reject uh, and hate sin. To always fuel the spiritual walk. That's how we do it. By, by, by preaching, by reading the Bible, Sunday school, um, to always surrender and make and make God right. You know, that's sometimes if you uh, we we just make God wrong. Hey, but you make God right by just agreeing. What what do you say? Hey, the Bible says, let God be true and every man alive. Hey, we can hey just just agree with God and everything's right. Just agree with God. Hey, if you lost, if you lost, you can also you can also. Frustrate the grace of God if you're lost by by you can frustrate by 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 resisting. God don't want you to resist that drawing of the Holy Spirit. Hey, you can, by resisting by rejecting that call by resisting rejecting that call that the Holy Spirit is is, is is dealing with you. Hey, you can frustrate the grace of God that way too. Hey, the Bible says that a person is condemned already. Hey, I was talking to a guy all day. He said said something about condemn. You condemn, but he didn't understand that condemnation. Hey, con condemnation means that you are doomed already. Hey, you are born, you are born, basically born doomed. 
you, hey, if you live long enough to hear the word of God, hey, basically, you said, Bible says you are born doomed. You said you are on your way to hell, to a devil's hell, a place that's not meant for you. But, hey, that's why he said, but you are, but because you are condemned, you are condemned already. Hey, but there's a way to avoid that condemnation. Hey, there's a way to avoid it is by not frustrating, not annoying, uh, not rejecting, not resisting the Holy Spirit dealing with you. That's why that's why you avoid it right there. Is but not resisting that right there. Hey, um, I don't think anything gets God's attention in uh, or His interest more than a lost soul. Hey, that's what He sent. That's what our our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. That's what He sent His Son down here to do, to die on the cross was for lost souls. I don't think anything gets get our attention get His attention more than that. And that's what Jesus Christ came to do was to die on the cross for our for our sin for your sin. Hey, it's basically. Um, uh, if you don't accept, if you don't accept Christ, his death for you was basically in vain, in a sense. You see, his his death for your situation was in vain, but his death for my situation was not in vain because I accepted it. I accepted. It. Hey, so that death in your situation, if you don't accept Christ in your, your situation, it was vain. It ain't doing no good. It's reject you because you rejected it. Hey. The Bible says if you reject, re, re, resist the devil, he will flee. Hey, somebody, somebody could be on conviction right now. Hey, and the Holy Spirit saying you need to accept this, the, the blood of Jesus Christ. You need to uh, believe on him for your, for your, for your salvation. And, the, and, the, and, the, and the, Satan's probably saying, wait, no, you don't need to do that. You don't do that. Hey, but the Bible says resist the devil, he will flee. Hey, at that moment, if you resist the, 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 uh, the Satan was trying to tell you not to do it, and turn to God, hey, God will save your soul. Hey, he'll be here, have flee. Hey, the Bible said that now is the appointed time for salvation. Right now, it, it ain't down the road. It's now, if you want to be saved, the time is now. Hey, I remember when I first got saved, I went out of this parking lot, and I said, if I die right now, I'll go to heaven. Hey, I'm not wishing that on anybody, but it's very possible, very possible. Hey, resist the, resist the devil, he will flee. The Lord, hey, all a person's got to do is admit that they're a sinner. Lord, I'm a sinner. Lord, uh, would you save my soul? That's salvation. That's salvation. Hey, would you put all your trust in our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, one that came and died on the cross, shed his blood for your sins? That's all we got, y'all. See y'all later.